It's time for some fresh air and a change of scene. The vast 50,000 acre estate needs a small army to put the land to good use. So the Duke rents parcels of it to over 200 farmers. I'm heading out to meet Brian Walker, who farms a 2,500-acre slice of Argyle land. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? You must be Brian. Yeah, hi. Julie, so this is your farm? Yes, we have about 2,500 acres, which sounds a lot right enough, but it's uh, mostly bog and scrub, quite poor quality ground in this part of the world. You're dealing with rugged land. Brian's not too worried about the rough terrain. He has a very special duty to provide the visitors to Inverara with a real-life photo opportunity. Our tenancy agreement, which is quite particular to our setup, whereby we keep a small fold of Highland cows, which are kept purely to put down to the castle for the tourists to look at. Oh, really? And that's just where I was about to head for at the moment, and we can take a bag of feeding down if you'd like yeah. to go down and have a better look yeah, at them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I can feed them as well? Yep, we okay, can do perfect. that. Yep. No, we'll just grab a bag of feeding and we can okay. go down. Like the Highland stag, the pointy-horned Highland cow is synonymous with Scotland. They thrive in the harsh mountainous terrain, and they all have red hair, right? Most oh. people see them as the red Highlander, Right. But black was the original colour of the Highland cows in the old days in the West Coast. Right. But this is slightly unique in having a, a small fold of totally black ones. Right. Look at that one. He's just staring at me. Looking at the size of those horns, I'm glad I'm not wearing bright red. There's no badness in it. It's just right. because there's somebody strange coming into the field. They're waiting to see what's going to happen. Okay. Like, so, yeah. Look at them. They're waiting. Do they know? Yeah, Do they, they, know, know? they know that this is something that they don't normally get. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> so oh, if, my goodness. If you wanted to put some in the ground there, they, they okay. will eat it. So like, do I just, throw it out just, or no? No, just put it in small piles on the ground and they okay. will eat it. He's coming for my bucket. Yeah, no, it's just, oh, okay. just smelling the feed there. Here you yeah. go. They're all right. They're very <laughs> sweet. Here you go. Oh, my gosh. OK. Hi. Here you go. It's good. Small little piles. There you go. Eat your food. OK. These cows, because they're used to people being around them, like right. so you're quite safe <laughs> exactly. in here, like especially when you've got a bucket of feed. You're their best pal just, for the day. Like. They just want their food. That's yeah, it. that's it. Like, yeah, yeah. She's talking to the calf, like, yeah, right. Oh, I love this. I just love this. So these calves, will they then turn black, dark? Yes. yes they, they, they will grow up grow, looking like right, the parents, okay. like, yeah, right. Like, that was a truly enjoyable experience. 